capacities are cooking up in one way or another to raise the cap on tuition fees is wrong. We will resist, vote against, campaign against any lifting of that cap. This is the first coalition government in Britain for 65 years. This is a new government, a radical, performing government where it needs to be. I really hope that you and so many other young people in this country will shout loud for what you believe in and what you need to get through to politicians because life is just too unfair for too many young people today. The government is proposing a tripling of tuition fees. That could make a university education in Britain the most expensive in Europe. In April this year, the Deputy Prime Minister said that it was his aim to end university tuition fees. Can he update the House on how his plan is progressing? Are there are deeper concerns that the proposed fee changes will produce a profoundly changed system, making it the preserve of the rich at the expense of everyone else. Thousands of students have clashed with police at Westminster today during a mass demonstration against plans to increase university tuition fees. The vote for the rise in student tuition fees is two weeks away. There's been no let up in the campaign to kill the policy. Today, hundreds of students at University College London took over one of the rooms on campus with a list of demands from university management. I'm Andy, I'm a first year UCL student. Yeah. And what did you think of the film? Good. Like, obviously, I was on quite a few of the demos last year, but not involved in the occupation. I wasn't at UCL and not near UCL. But I thought, no, it was, it was definitely inspiring because it was more hands-on sort of view of what happened rather than straight through sort of the media. Yeah, yeah. So you think it's important for sort of small groups to do films like this to sort of show the other side as opposed to what the mainstream media might show? Definitely, sort of, because it was interviews with people involved in it, so it's like, it's their actual opinion on it rather than sort of, it's someone else's opinion rather than sort of a journalist, yeah. which like doesn't invalidate their opinion, but they have to sell papers and stuff, so it does uh, mould their opinions and how they like report it. Yeah. And do you think sort of something like this could help maybe people sort of mobilise themselves, inspire people to actually, you can sort of get up and organise yourselves yeah, and create attention? Yeah, definitely sort of. I mean, it's an independent film, which I think in itself, regardless of its content, is inspiring to people and makes people sort of realise, hang on, I don't have to like make it to sort of do something. So I think, yeah, I think it definitely does... Like, I don't know, it puts a much more personal level on it, sort of rather than sort of X amount of people march through London today. It sort of is Michael Chesson, like on TV. Michael Chesson's just next to me here. Hi, Michael. It's sort of, it's different. It, yeah, it sort of makes it more realistic. You kind of came, in, came into this whole movement kind of by accident. But, but you know, tell us the process of being inspired and becoming such a central role. You know, how did that come about? Well, I was, I was very unimpressed by the behaviour of my, my now fellow activists um, when the fee rises were first being talked about. I didn't think the protests that they were going to were like, valid. I just thought, why are you smashing the wheel back? That's not going to prove anything. I literally said on several occasions, I think letter writing is such a good tactic for this whole thing. I had no idea. And then my housemates just said to me, Jess, literally, like, we're going to get involved in this. If you don't, you're going to be so lonely. And you know how much you like to tweet and we don't let you do that at dinner? Well, if you come along to this, we won't stop you, so come along. And I was like, I guess I will. And then within literally about, probably about 40 minutes in this room, after we got, I was stood on this table filming. The whole room as everybody came into occupation, and I was like, well, I'm going to tweet this, and then it just got loads of retweets, and then I was like, that's cool, I'll keep tweeting, like, and being a news source, that's useful. I was here for a couple of hours, and all of a sudden having all these conversations with all these people, like, well, now I know it's crazy lefties, but at the time they were just people, and, um, and I was like, oh my god, everything you're saying is completely correct, how have I literally lived 20 years of my life not actually being aware of any political context? Like, this is Glenn McMahon at the preview at UCL for The Real Social Network.